Hey everyone, and welcome to the June newsletter. It's nice to have summer almost here, and we really hope you're enjoying the time outside. Besides all the rain that never seems to stop, just like the constant flood of AI-related news in the tech world lately. I also hope you've gotten a chance to check out the new show Chris and I have been doing twice a month, amazingly called Not The Newsletter, as that name perfectly encapsulates our weird sense of Iraq humor at CCA, and it's accurate. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't gotten a chance. Chris recently got to sit down with Tony Meister at Chameleon Communications for an awesome interview to see how people and industries are affected by and leveraging the ever-changing world of technology. Without further ado, let's get into this month's newsletter. First, AI, as always it seems. Major tech players like Meta, Microsoft, AMD, Google, and Broadcom are developing a new networking standard in AI-powered data centers called Ultra Accelerator Link, which is a weirdly confusing and ambiguous name. Essentially, this is an open standard connection protocol that will allow for more efficient coupling of various AI hardware to improve report performance and efficiency. This is a direct competitor to NVIDIA's NVLink, which if you follow the stock exchange, you'll know that NVIDIA recently hit a massive $3 trillion market cap, making it by far one of the most valuable companies on the planet. NVIDIA has always been a large player in this space, but their massive stock jumps are due to them being a leader in making the hardware that powers AI systems around the world. Competition is always good, and it will be interesting to see how these two standards compare and contrast as they mature. Speaking of big dollar amounts, T-Mobile recently signed an almost $4.5 billion deal to buy large chunks of US cellular. T-Mobile has been on a spree of buying carriers for the past couple of years now, like Sprint, Mint, and now parts of US cellular. This isn't a complete buyout, it seems. Rather, T-Mobile is buying and or leasing technology and space on over 2,000 US cellular cell phone towers. T-Mobile claims this deal will provide nationwide coverage for US cellular customers and also allow US cellular customers to move to an unlimited T-Mobile plan for, of their choosing if they want to. This deal would need regulatory approval and isn't scheduled to complete in, until mid-2025. We'll have to see if this becomes a positive or negative experience for customers. Lastly, something close to home. Remember how Foxconn built all those factories and offices in Racine and then nothing really happened with them? Well, Microsoft and the White House recently announced that Microsoft will invest $3.3 billion in the area to build an AI data center. Microsoft will also help develop an AI innovation lab at the University of Milwaukee and a data center academy at Gateway Technical College. It's really neat to see major tech companies taking interest in Wisconsin as we're not usually the center of attention when it comes to tech news. This will hopefully create a ton of new and cool jobs for people in the area and help our own community play a part in this so-called AI revolution. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much as always for tuning into these newsletters and learning about the world of technology along with us. And we'll see you guys all again soon. Bye everyone. Hey everyone, thank you for making it to the end of the newsletter. Make sure to subscribe here to our YouTube channel to get more content. Our video podcast ends up here and also to all of the major podcasting platforms. Make sure to follow CCA Technology on LinkedIn for tons of other news and cybersecurity tips throughout the month. And we'll see you guys next month. Thanks.